Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Digipad. They are currently in a pre-sale right now. I do want to let you know that they did have an audit passed or audit on this project. It did pass with no higher medium severity issues. We're going to take a look at their pre-sale. So you can see here, pre-sales live. Um, this is a fair launch. They had a uh, soft cap of 200 BNB. Right now they're sitting at 548. Uh, it is considered safe food by Pink Sale. Here's your audit badge and KYC badge. The KYC has been completed by Interfi. Uh, so moving back on over, it says here it's safer crypto investment ecosystem. Digipad is a private investment launchpad for global crypto investors, ventures, and startups. Launchpad and staking is live. Stake DGP and get APY up to 120%. Listed on CMC and CG. Binance price data. Safe food by Pink Sale. KYC. Digipad ecosystem backed by Digipad Foundation Fund DFF which run by private investment ecosystem revenue and tax, private launchpad investments secured by DIF fund. This is currently the rate of Digipad token that you're getting per BNB. 603 total contributors. They've already met uh, their soft cap and the initial market cap you know, for launch will be at 264594. Again, understand that as an estimate. So and then we see that liquidity lockup time is 365 days after the pool ends. So nothing concerning to me as far as the token metrics. Um, they've all been, you know, obviously they've only got, they don't have a whole lot of time left. So we'll see if I can get this video out to you before. Uh, the pre sales over with. Features of the project, launch pad, swap, staking, and a locker. We see pr uh, press and media as well. We see some strategic partners, token allocation, you know, what's going to what. So we see 40% going to the public sale. 25% to the staking pool, 10% to the team, 10% to the DIF, and 10% to marketing and development, and 5% to a private sale. So keep in mind there was a private sale. I don't really have details in regards to the private sale and what the hard cap was of that. So, but just to, just to understand that there were tokens, or people will have tokens from a pretty early stage you know, on the project when it launches. We see the uh, token contract, and on the roadmap, we're seeing you know four different phases here. Uh, starting, you know, from phase one with research, building the team, you know, the design and development of the website, and then phase two, we're seeing website release, you know, KYC, audit, private sale, and the fair launch, so this is obviously where we are, and then phase three, we're seeing activation of staking pool, DEX launch, CMC and CG, post-launch marketing, and the Digipad token fiat market is open, and then in the final phase, Indicated on the roadmap, we see collaboration and onboard of crypto startups, start private sale on Digipad, token locker launch, centralized exchange, and partnership, and then the release of the DigiSwap, and continued development of the ecosystem. So at least here, we're seeing that uh, there, there may be continued development, at least that's uh, what, it comes, what comes across to me here in phase four. And... Um, you know, but I would like to see them you know, cross off some things that they've already completed. So it's not just simply a list of items that are on this roadmap. Beyond that, um, they do have a number of things they're trying to accomplish, you know, looking at the roadmap. Um, you know, so I don't really have a lot of you know, additional feedback here. I mean, we, we really do know where we're at. Uh, we're here at the end of phase two. Um, but you know, the, I guess if I were to add anything else, it would be helpful to know if this project is going to go into next year or beyond that, um, you know, so, and if we're going to get, you know, an update you know, to the roadmap, I mean, even though we're seeing there may be continued development, you know, we're going to get an update you know, to this overall uh, roadmap and are we going to see maybe a V2 version of it? So uh, we see features, Digipad Foundation from the DFF, anti-rug pull policy, and the Digipad uh, the DIF insurance fund, and then a standard FAQ at the footer of the page. So that takes us through the project. You know, we do have, you know, white paper here that I would uh, encourage you all to look at, uh, just in case you're interested, you know, in taking a closer look, you know, at the project. But beyond that, uh, nothing else to add, you know, really on Digipad. I don't see, you know, any um, truly concerning red flags and concerns for me personally. So, as always, we don't encourage you to invest on this uh, channel, but we do encourage you to get informed. So make sure you start with the documentation, 
take a look at the socials, and then do your own evaluation and assessment to see if this is something you'd like to lean into for yourself or not. All right, guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. And please like, subscribe, and comment. All those things do help this channel to grow, and I can't do it without you. You guys enjoy the day.